we really want a better world in the coming years, and the sustainable development goals are 2030, that we have to work all together. Private sector, pharma, the uh, communities, the governments, the UN, the civil society, that only if we work together and we see how we can kind of complement each other, we can reach the sustainable development goals. I've been in the field for 30 years, and I think and there are a number, of, and a lot of uh, new drugs and new technologies that are developing. As I gave the example for bleeding, for treating really uh, diseases that kill women, like high blood pressure, infections. So we know what to do. And sometimes the uh, treatment schedules are complicated or expensive. And a lot has a lot of evolution towards shorter regimens, um, also towards price setting. For example, when I was working as a young researcher in Kenya years ago, in early 90s, and there were these new HIV AIDS medications for the West, very expensive. And then people said, ah, oh, that's the right to have access to AIDS drugs everywhere. And I thought, oh, come on, we cannot even here provide the minimum care. How could we ever, for the African AIDS patients, how can we ever afford to have treatment here? But it was, I think, one of our um, uh, leading raw Belgians, Peter Piot, who was at that time head of UNAIDS. And he said, we don't have to think in silos. We have to bring everyone around the table. So he reached out and invited pharma and they developed new drugs, they developed shorter regimens, but also they did a lot of work to lower the price. So to make sure that these drugs, I was very skeptical, but I've seen it happen. So I think this is great. I'm just trying to say that there is an evolution and that is very good.